Yeah, yeah, drop it, drop it. Yeah, DJ Ali on the wheels of steel. Drop it. Yeah, drop it, drop it. That's how we do. They call me ugly kid. And yeah, this is ugly kid. I'm gonna with DJ Ali, a journalist on AY right Hill Radio. You shall add to that, boy. Would you bet you about you? Would you bet you about you? Uh, is your own boy Diggy Dog? The skin skin master. He beats me to AY right Radio. Don't touch it, dad. My goes on the coast. I shiver the back. Would you bet you about you? Yeah. The creepy guy really tried to move the middle of the river and trying to make a bed or whatever. Put in a little hand to the chill and let you move it. Like a bomb is the enemy of the people who take a lot from the living. They call me who the Adams. West Africa, Nigeria, and Africa. I'm not sure what you're going to do. I'm going to do an objection. 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 As your God, your spirit directs you. You can find Astamine in all registered pharmaceutical shops across the country. Astamine, the building blocks for good health of the family. Astamine, marketed by Fitson Healthcare Limited, the company that values life. Check it. My check one two one two. Should boy big things. You ready to say one six is family? I'm a boss in law. You can't enjoy what what. Now I'm saying I'm chilling with DJ Ali. On fait nos chers là, tu beau, tu nous si wow. Elle a l'air beau, tu si yo rara. On fait nos chers là, tu me si beau, tu nous 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 si beau, tu Blue Corners with your pastor presenter Toke Bravo on AYO Radio UK. It's a two segment program where different topics are being discussed. And on the second segment, you can call in to contribute to the topic discussed. To listen, download the link app on Google Play Store and search for AYO Radio UK. For sponsorship and number placement, dial plus 447487570261 or plus 2340813776254. Blue Corners with Stoke Bravo, you will surely be enlightened. Yeah, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to AYO Radio UK. Uh, thank God it's Friday, are you all ready? Yeah, I know the whole world is ready for this one. The next program that is about to go on air now. Yeah, as you can see me, look, I'm expecting Christmas very soon. I'm wearing my jumper, but, to, but for me by my door, you know. That's my birthday present. I love it. I love it. Anything that's a gift, I always love. Trust me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm hiding my face because I'm ugly today. I'm ugly. It's my ugly day. Friday. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, yes, get ready for Sauce and Spice. Sauce and Spice by Queen Cindy. You will surely enjoy this one. Please pay attention. Get ready. And please don't touch the dial. Keep it locked on AYO Radio UK. Wellington. 
I hope you all had fun. I hope you all, you know, enjoyed yourselves and uh, took care of yourselves. I hope we all had so much fun that we are, we're all looking good. You know, you know, one of my thing is that I love people looking good because I like to look good and smell good. good. <laughs> wow. Anyway, away from that, I will be talking about catcalling today. You know, it's it's a common trend that a lot of people are not educated about. Most people do not know what it means. Um, what catcalling means. Most people don't understand what it means. Most men or ladies do not know what it means. So I want to talk about catcalling today. And I hope you do enjoy the, the the show let's all have a cup 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 of coffee you know a cup of coke or a cup of anything and just enjoy and listen to the show right here i'm your girl cindy today we'll be talking about cat calling as i said you know cat calling for some people may most people may not understand you may just think it's calling a cat but a cat that's not what i mean what i mean is you know men who who actually, you know, call women out, you know, make them feel degraded or make them feel like they are actually nothing, you know, ways of, in the Nigerian way, it's toasting, but that's not toasting. Or some people think it's uh, toasting a girl or asking a girl out or ways of, you know, getting a girl's attention on the streets, you know. It's so embarrassing when a man whistles at a woman or or calls her as if she's, she's a she's a puppy or something you know it's it's actually degrading and it's not nice so i do want a lot of people to be aware of this you know it's we all have beautiful women beautiful beautiful women around the world beautiful african women both caucasians but why um, but blacks and you know um so many women around but let's learn to respect our women. If you want to talk to a woman as a man, I think you should walk up to her and talk to her in a very nice way, in a way she would appreciate you. Not standing on the road and, and whistling or, or, or calling her like she's a puppy or making, you know, very, very nasty gestures at the woman. It's, it's actually not nice. It's actually not, not, not lovely. And I, I do not think it's a good thing for men let's all try to respect women i'm not no, nobody should think i'm a feminist though but i'm just trying to you know bring out something based on what i have seen and what i have you know experienced on the streets and especially here in nigeria uh what i have seen a lot of people do and even on social media it's actually not nice to to do that it's actually very very irresponsible for a man to 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 bring himself so low as to cat call a woman. Now I'll 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 let you know. I'll give you some little tips on how to if you want to approach a woman, if you want to talk to her, if you want to get her attention. What's the best way to go about it? It's actually the best way. You know, you just learn from Cindy. You know, she'll she'll let you, she'll lecture you on what to do. <laughs> and so today I will be talking about that particular topic. It's very very wrong to actually do that. Some some weeks ago, I was actually um, with a friend outside and then um, a couple of guys were just hanging outside um, their house. I think the building was where they stayed. And so there were, there's this uh, beautiful, you know, beautiful chocolate damsel passing by. You know, I actually thought, you know, one of them will just walk up to her and say, hello, my name is, um kelvin or whatever his name is but they were like whistling and laughing and jabbing and you know just hey hey you know calling her names mommy you know it's it, i think it actually made that girl feel so so um embarrassed you know she she, she had to look for a place to run off to it's embarrassing i think the men of today, the young men of today, should learn from our fathers. You know, they, they actually did it better than we, we, we do these days. They should learn to be nice to women. They should learn to, because a woman is, 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 is very special. I don't know how most people see women, but I think we should learn to, you know, hold our women with love, with respect, you know, because they're the ones that groom, that makes the home, that grooms the kids, that, that makes things happen. You know, without a woman, I'm sure a lot of men will not be surviving, you know, <laughs> just kidding anyway. But I'm just saying, you, 
don't it's not nice to do that to a woman it's not it's not lovely it's not it's not fun to do that to a woman it's actually degrading and embarrassing please men don't go about doing that to a girl it's actually not nice and then I, I I met a couple of guys some 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 weeks back you know there's this lady she's she has a very you know big behind if you know what I mean you know she she was on the street and some guys started clapping clapping and you know going behind her and shouting oh big ass you know, there's a way it, it was so degree I felt so bad you know I couldn't and some women among among them were all screaming and laughing and it's funny like she's she, she has to be asking she she has a you know it was fun to watch a guy you know to treat a woman like that they were clapping and following her and trying to you know like for to them it was like maybe they were doing something nice probably hating her because she has a big ass but it, it was embarrassing because i saw that she had to look for a place to stand because she felt so embarrassed it's not just good to get to that point where you, you you embarrass a woman that way to degrade a woman to bring a woman down you that's you're actually making her self-esteem go low you're making her feel like because she's a woman you could you could actually do that how many how many men do women do that to how many men get such experiences you know it's not nice to do that to a woman she actually felt so so bad that you know she had to stand somewhere and i had to talk to someone could why would you laugh at this you're a woman you're supposed to you know stop them from doing this you're supposed to tell them educate them that this is wrong you don't do that to a woman you're laughing instead you that is a woman how would you feel if someone does that to you how would you feel if a guy claps and follows you behind your back and say oh you have the big eyes and everybody's watching that's that's actually very degrading and i'm just saying please guys please please guys wherever you are whatever part of the world you are it's actually very wrong to tackle it's actually not nice to do that to a woman please let's try to respect our women and let's try to you know make them feel special because they are queens you know especially those chocolates <laughs> chocolate looking african women you know I, I just love our chocolate but please let's try to be nice let's try to respect women is actually nice and then you know the world will be much better when we respect women <laughs> all right and so i want i will say something about uh you know ways to talk to a woman instead of catcalling or making her feel embarrassed if you like a girl the ways to go about it if there's ways to talk to her that will make her feel special and probably you know become your friend even if she doesn't date you at the end of the day you know so you can you can you can always go close to her you can try to i'm not saying stalk her don't stalk her there's a difference when you like a woman and you start stalking that's that's really scary and that that actually scares a lot of women but if you like a woman you see her maybe a little note of a compliment will make her give you attention like you look beautiful today. You look nice. I love your smile. I think that would get give her you give you know give her your attention. So it's best to try as much as possible to to talk to them when like give them compliments. You know, tell her you look beautiful today, or you you smell nice, or you have beautiful eyes. And if she's a little far from you, you can just take a walk. If you're driving, instead of using your car and whistling and say, hey. Hey babe, how far now? How you doing now? Like, talk to me now. No, that's actually no noise. You can actually go down, you know, you know, tell her I saw you pass by and I love what you're wearing. You look nice. And be sincere about it. Give sincere compliments. Don't give fake compliments just because you want to get her attention. Find out something that is nice, something nice about her and just compliment about it. Don't um don't uh give fake compliments. Be sincere about your compliments. And then if if she's just probably like you feel she's way out of your leg, there are ways to go about it. Start by being friends with her. Actually, I know it works. A lot, a lot of guys use that that style, you know. <laughs> start by being friends with her. Start by you know talking to her. Start by don't don't just go by gifts. No, I don't I don't say I don't think that's nice. When you start by because you want to get a woman's attention, you start by buying gifts for her no i don't think that's nice i think you should just you know try being her friend try complimenting compliments actually work a great deal you know 
try doing something, something nice, not buying something, you know, maybe just buy when her book is go falls on the floor, you pick it up for her or you help her do one or two things, you know, try to get her attention to you and I'm sure you get her attention and then you can tell her the way you feel and you've never met this girl before. Probably she's a new girl on the street and you've never met her before and you just love the way she looks or you just like her or you have an attraction for her rather than being rude and and you know being very very uh, uh, well i call it a very very um um uh, degrading about it i think the best way you should do that is take a walk to her take a walk towards her and tell her you look nice today i'm sure she'll give you a smile and like thank you that's a first maybe the next day you say hello and she says, probably she would not remember you and like, ah, you were not wearing that pink shirt yesterday. It was nice on you, you know. From there, you can start talking to her bit by bit. You don't go by degrading a woman. You, 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 you compliment a woman. You make her feel like she's special. You do not make her feel she's the most beautiful woman in the world. And you know, like every woman wants to be praised. Every woman wants to be complimented. Every one woman wants to feel special. So those special things you do are those things that would make a woman, you know, attracted to you. You know, we ladies are we're emotional beings. You know, you know, a lot of people say that, and I, I agree to that. You know, because I'm one of them. So we are emotional beings. So I just say. When you want to get close to a woman, don't cut call, don't be rude to her. Start by being nice, start by complimenting, start by, you know, making her feel like she's a goddess or like she's a queen, you know. That, that would be so, so nice, that would be so, so lovely, you know. It would give her, you know, she'll, be, she'll feel comfortable to talk to you. That, I think, is the best way. And then if you have a babe you've been seeing for a while and she's... She's so nice, she's so beautiful, like, and you like her, and you don't, you just don't know how to get through to her. The best way to do that is just by taking a step forward. You might not necessarily tell her that day that you like her. You might just go close to her and tell her, help her with something, you know, make her notice your presence by being friends with her, by introducing yourself. I'm, I'm Peter, I'm John, I am Kelvin, I am Frank, you know, I'm like, it's nice knowing you. Have you seen me around? I think we should be friends or I like to get to know you. You know, it's different ways to get women's attention. You know, there are different nice ways of being gentlemen. Men, please be gentlemen. And also our ladies, when a guy walks up to you and wants to talk to you and he's, he's nice and polite about it, please no attitude. You know, a lot of girls don't know how to receive compliments. When a guy tells you you smell nice, smile and say thank you. When someone says you look good, smile and say thank you. Who knows, you know, anything can happen through that avenue. When a guy tells you you look cool, you know, just, you know, smile, tell him thank you. Give him a nice smile. It doesn't make you, it does not make you cheap. It doesn't make you lesser than what you are. It actually makes you look like a great person with a great personality. So, Let's learn to receive compliments, which I, which I know a lot of women do not know how to receive. It's, it's usually hard, especially those women with um, low self-esteem. Most women do not know how to receive um, compliments. It's nice to always try to receive. When someone tells you, thank, you look nice, instead of saying, is it lie? Or, are you sure? Try to say thank you. Thank you very much for, for saying that to me. Smile to them. You know, you know probably... That could actually make your day, make your day feel much better if you were stressed out or whatever you've been going through. It could make you feel better at that moment. So my take, when you get a compliment, receive a compliment with joy and with a smile and be polite and not try to be rude or give the guy some, you know, some kind of look that will make him run away or make him feel like you're... you're you don't have a good personality, which I know a lot of women have, you know. So please, people, learn to have, learn not to cut cold, please. Especially the younger generation or the younger men, do not do that. It is wrong. Respect our women. Respect your woman. Respect every woman around you. We have a guest in the house today. Let's listen to what he has to say about what we are talking about today. 
All right, people. Today I have a very uh, handsome, hot-looking man in the house with me today on Sauce and Spice. I will be talking to him about um, Pat Corey and what he understands about Pat Corey. His name is Mr. Victor. Welcome to Sauce and Spice on BYO Radio. Thank you. All right, now, Mr. Victor, what do you understand by Pat Corey and um, you think he's actually right? Um, cat calling is a mode of calling your cat. It's associated to animals. We are supposed to be used for human beings because it belittles. Um, I know for sure a lot of people do it. They use it to call ladies, of which I don't do. And uh, I see it uh, as a way of uh, reducing the personality of whoever you're using that for of course for those who don't know what we're talk, talking about is using that kind of uh, sounds he sounds to call a lady and all those kind stuff which is associated to cats and animals and then uh, you know they just they just want to because they hear by nature they hear high frequency sound faster than human being that's why they use that kind of high frequency sounds to call them I don't think it's right to use it for human beings. We hear more of low frequency than uh, oh, animals. Okay. All right then, Mr. Victor. <laughs> okay, I just want to ask you, like, what's the right view? Do you think cat calling is right? Yes or no? No, I've said that is wrong. Okay. What's the right way of approaching a woman and what do you think is the right way? Because I feel like a lot of young people today have gotten it um, wrong. You know, in talking to a person in communication and getting to know each other. So what do you think is the right way in which we, like a young guy who sees a young lady and he likes her, what's the right way in which he can, you know, get to, to her? Um, I'm getting to understand the calling you're talking about as a calling for a relationship. Yeah, it could Not be. calling to send an around or calling to, to send a message or pass a thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, sometimes it could just be he likes her. He wants to be her friend. It doesn't necessarily mean that going to a woman means he wants to date her. It could be that he just wants to be friends with her or he likes her personality, likes her style, or something special about her. It's th it just doesn't always mean relationship. But I'm saying, what's the best way to go to a woman if you want to you know, talk to her? Like, you like her, maybe you love the way she smells, or you just like her personality, or you just want to date her, you want to know her better. What's the best way to go about it? Well, with our boldly ones, I think, um, let me look at the angle of uh, dating the woman. I think that the uh, relationship should not be something that you just, you just pop up into and just, uh, you know, it has to develop. And for you to develop anything, you have to come from gradual process. You know, you want we call it relationship. It's not something that it's not it's not something uh, uh, what do you call it now? It's not something so solid. And you have to sell yourself to the lady, and the lady will now examine whether you are the type. It has a kind of prototype in her mind that she is looking for. Then you have to gradually sell yourself into her, bring out yourself as a gentleman, appreciate her. When she look good, tell her that she look good. If there is a way of correcting her, correct her with love and in a way that she feel, oh, you are a nice person. I love the way. I never knew I was wrong, and I knew, and you made me realize this. And before you know it, you find out that interest will start brooding, and which will end to whatever you're looking for. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think where you are coming from is um basically when you've gotten to know the woman. Yeah. So what I am talking about is now. Take for example, a yeah. young guy meets a girl, like he sees her, yeah. maybe in an office yeah. or on the street. Yeah. He's never spoken to her before. Yeah. Now, instead of cat calling like, hey, come here, or hey, find here, come here, you know, I think there are better ways of saying it. How What's the right way, you know, to get that girl's you know, attention? If you do that, that's a special approach, that's a military approach, and which every lady frown at. Yes, so that's what so I'm saying. Definitely, if you, if, as a guy, Mm -hmm. If you want to get to, to a lady, you've not met her before, maybe she's just passing and you feel that, oh, there's something spot on, this is the right person, I need to, you know, basically, ladies, they will not want to give you attention like that because they will feel cheap. 
you have to find a way of getting attention. Sometimes you have to walk after her and getting close to her because some 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 things that you want to appreciate about her, you don't want the next person to hear. You have to get close and say, "Oh, lady, you're stepping fine. I love the way you dress." Uh, I go in my direction. Oh, and um, how how's your day? And before you talk one or two things, you must come up with something that we need to respond and you must show your you must show that you are a responsible person. Wow. Well, that, you tell somebody, that, sounds, that actually sounds nice, you know. Yeah. So you know that those are one of the secrets. Yeah, that's, that's what I, that's what I do. I, if I see somebody, that's why sometimes I connect to believe. I feel that is there any lady that a man cannot get? This depends on how you approach her. When any lady you want you to respect her. No matter, even the plantain seller, I want you to respect her. The orange seller, I want you to respect her. And by the time you walk up to the orange seller, you say, please, I want to buy orange. And he put it down. He said, man, you're the, how do you get this orange? How do you look good? And you're, and you're selling things like that. I love, I love your zest. I love how you carry yourself. I think if it is other people, they will look so tattered or you will be, be feeling that the orange is contaminated. No, you, you know, you need to appreciate her. Because dressing like that from house, and it's outside. That's the best you can do at that moment. You should let her appreciate her that day. Wow. Yeah, you are. You so, are spot on. So what you're trying to say, appreciation and yeah. compliment is key. Yeah. To get into a woman. Yeah, and yeah. That's, that, that's actually Don't nice. forget I... that ladies react to what they hear. Wow. <laughs> so if you don't know how to speak what they will hear, you're not going to get her. This, this is actually very nice. I hope a lot of young men out there are listening and they, uh, they, they get to learn something from my guest in the house today i hope you guys are all learning from him because it's actually very nice what he said basically almost the same thing i said when i said um compliments and appreciating a woman respecting a woman is key those are one of the special reasons you know so tell me you know when you, you talk to a woman in that way she snubs you what do you do you feel embarrassed she snubs you she snubs you you know there's some girls of course right? of course a lady wants somebody who can press he, he want the last one standing no i'm just saying like when she snubs you what do you do no, he's doing, he's doing, he's doing that for the, most of them, it's not the right from the depth of their heart. They want to see how far you push. The farther you push, that tells them that they are special. If you, if you come, you say, hey, this and they give him, some of them will feel that they are cheap. And they want to see how, how far you can push. And because if you push her, that you're telling her that uh, I love what I'm seeing. It's, what I'm seeing is so important to me. That's why I can take whatever. And sometimes you find out that after insulting you, after doing that, you have to add a sense of humor. <laughs> you add a sense of humor and turning, turning, um, snobbing into humor. You see her smiling. And then sometimes what I do, I say, look, I'm not saying this for you to smile because if you smile, you are going to pay me because you know you said this. Now you are smiling from this and that. And you know, when they leave, you will find them at their prison at that guy. So what I've done to, to him. Then by the time you put up a call, you put up a call, maybe you collect a number, and you know, normally some will say, What do you want my number for? To me, I will tell you, Look, you need to pay me for taking your number. I said, Pay you for what? Because I want you to talk. Because right now you start talking, get into your heart. Wow. This, this, this is a very good tip, Paul. Those of you listening, I think you should all you know, get one or two tips from, from him. It's it's a very nice, nice tip. And I'm learning something, you know. But when you know when you compliment, you make me smile. Yeah. And one of those people, when you compliment, they have to smile, you know, especially when you say, you're looking gorgeous and nice. <laughs> all right. Thank you for listening. It's been lovely, lovely talking to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for coming on today. Thank you. Again. Thank you for coming on AY Radio. Thank you. All right, then. We'll be seeing you guys. Um, we'll be talking to you guys next week on something way more interesting. Enjoy. Yes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was so interesting. Uh, I'm telling you, I was showing my 32 all the way. Shout out to you today, Ola with me. Shout out to um, the following people, DJ Murphy of Sweet FM. Uh, shout out to Paul, aka Polo. Shout out to Prince Michael. Shout out to Mr. Adeyemi. Shout out to Nollywood actor, Sule Suebebe. Uh, shout out to Shade Adegoke. And also congratulations to Shade Adegoke uh, on your new job. 
as a cabin crew for Virgin Atlantic. Yes, Shade Adegoke was my former co-presenter on Nigeria FM. Me and her, trust me, we were like cat and mouse. You know, we, we worked together very beautifully, but in a very, very joking way. People love our program together. Shout out to you. And thanks for calling me yesterday and talking to me. There's another program that we're going to do together. It's going to be a TV show. So we're working on it. Shade Adek, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, love you, mommy. Take care. Love you in a loving, like a friendship kind of love. Oh, you understand? I have to say that to people. I'm not saying that to you, Shade. I'm saying it to people because people read me to everything you say. So I don't want them to start spreading rumor that how uh, DJ Ali and Shade are doing something together. No, we are best friends. Uh, platonic, okay? All my days, tell me eh, that you did not enjoy this program. I did, and I know you did too. Over, oh my God, over one million people are actually logged on, on the internet today from all over the world. Because cat calling is a very, very interesting topic. You know, who doesn't want to listen to that? All the bad boys, all the bad gang guys, yeah? Who have been doing cat calling, including this guy Agbiru? What is his name? Say, this comedian Agbiru, uh, Agbiru comedian. I can't remember his name, sure. As I'm talking, you know Agbiru now. You know, yes. That they even to be quite honest is I don't know why people do cat calling, but cat calling has been there for a very very long time. You know, Henry Angel, sure, big up, yeah. Um, cat calling has been there for a very, very long time. We have to stop it. If you don't know what cat calling is, trust me, cat calling is not nice at all. It's very embarrassing to men and women. You understand? Cat calling can be regarded as a form of sexual harassment. Yes, it can. That includes the acts of whistling. Baby. You know those kind of things, eh? whistling, shouting, unwanted comments like, hey, your, your, your backside or your behind is this, is that. You know that kind of talk now. And any other actions by strangers in public places, it is a powerful act that increases vulnerability. Are you listening? Cat calling. I'm defining it to you. If you don't understand, I'm, and I'm sure you know, because we do it every day. Yeah, women in particular in public areas, you know, it's not really nice. I'm telling you, it, pronunciation, cat calling, I don't know, I don't know how to explain this. It's very, it's harsh. I'm telling you, it's a very, very harsh thing. Whistling, you know, expressing there is um, or disapproval you understand maybe baby i'm okay dear uh they won't even uh, people do you use do cat calling they don't even make such sweet remark like dear it's always baby hey imagine hey you are calling human being like mr victor the guest on the show said um his uh, behavior you know, for animals or by animals, the act of saying a rude sexual remark to a girl passing by as a way to get her attention. In some way, come on, when you think about it, typical, this is typical, I don't want to say typical Nigerian thing, but it's kind of, it is, you understand? Very, very embarrassing, very, very ridiculous to women. Now, I want to I want to twist this topic because I enjoy it so much and I want people to comment and I want people probably to even come on on for just two minutes, you know, or text what do you think about cat calling? You understand? Let me see if I can invite the the presenter who is actually on Facebook now. Maybe we can chat for one minute or two. Yeah, Jody, hold tight. Yes, yeah, Cynthia Omar. Cynthia Omar, she's uh, absolutely a diamond. She's a good presenter. 
the way she presents um, our show is so loving. She she sounds very 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 you know um, educative, um, entertaining. You know uh, I'm talking about a program. Uh, the program is educative, entertaining, and you know well constructed. I'm telling you. Yes. Let me hear from you. What do you think about cat calling? Let me see if I can invite um, people on Facebook uh, on and people on Instagram. So if I'm waving at you, it doesn't mean I'm just waving. I just want you to come on if you can. Come on if you can and get involved. This is a very interesting topic and you must say your view. Let's educate ourselves. Have you done it before? Have you not? Uh, do you do you know people who've done it while you are around? Have you even ever stopped people from doing cat calling? Maybe you, if you are around there and you hear people cat calling a girl, you know, while you enjoying it, while you supporting the person, while you advising them, you understand? Was it funny to you? Was it while you actually laughing as well at the time? Were you laughing? That's what. We want to know about cat calling. Were you laughing when this was going on? Were you really, really laughing? Was it funny to you? Do you find it funny? Were you not tempted to actually caution them and say, hey, come on, stop it. This is not nice. You know, what you're doing is not nice. Come on. It's degrading. You understand? It's ridiculous. I don't like it. Have you ever made any effort when you hear... Um, a group of men it's always in a group isn't it it's always in a group when they are alone when a man is alone they will never do that to a girl when they're alone it's always in a in a group that's when they do it do you think people do it or guys do it just i don't know to make themselves feel big i don't know you understand because come on when you think about it psychologically if you want a woman's attention you have to be nice to her. But when you say, when you whistling, Oi! Oh my gay, oh my lay, baby, baby, hey, oh my you, oh my day, my family. Those are the comments. You understand? I'm saying in Yoruba, because I'm Yoruba. Uh, if you're an Igbo or Aousa um, or English or Indian, I don't know how you would say it in your own language, you know, car card calling yeah shout out to dj noble dj id noble finest london's finest so uh, yeah dj id noble you are the man that can always talk and you're very very strict when whatever you're saying you they make sense then definitely why don't you come up i'm inviting you come up live you know we are talking about cat calling you know men you know calling lady embarrassing them you know, using derogative words. Did I say that word rightly? Uh, derogative. Not nice words. You understand? When they call him women and they whistling, shouting, Oi! Baby! Uh, oh my! Hey! See your backside! You understand? Those are the words that men use. It's very disrespectful. Uh, yes, yeah, so DJ ID Noble. You know? Yeah, DJ, easy. Yeah, thanks for uh, coming in. Yeah, I'll see you. DJ, easy, Okosu. Big up, big up your chest. Harry Angel, I'll see you. Yeah, you know, cat calling is not, it's not a nice thing. I don't know why we do it, but do you know what? They say, according to the definition, it's just to shout sexual comments at women who pass by. It's always done by strangers to strangers. You understand? You will never cut call somebody that you already know. You understand? Maybe you can. Yeah, I think maybe you can. If you know a girl already in your area, but you know that the girl is not talking to you. You understand? You just see her pass by and you're with your friends, you know, having a good time. Yeah, you might do it to her because, I don't know, you want to embarrass her, isn't it? Okay, uh, DJ Aiden Nobu said this at work. Um, Okay, short break now. Uh, uh, okay, he said he would have loved to come in. Yeah, shout out to Wendy. Even if you are ladies, have you ever been cut called by men? 
You understand? But I, I want to, I sincerely want to point something out. Is it only men? I mean, is it only women? Is it only men that can't call, uh, can't call women? Is it only, I don't think you heard me very well. I want to twist it around. Is it only men that can't call women? Is it not possible to look into um, to it in a different way, in a different triangle, a different from different shape that maybe some women also can't call men to? I've seen some adverts, I'm not going to mention the name of the adverts because I don't want to get sued, where you see um, women, they always find, you know, you know, those men that do, uh, what's it called, handymen, they find them very attractive, sexually attractive. There are some adverts that uh, you will see women, they know the time that the men will be at work, you know, those handymen, those who do construction, you know, some men, with muzzles, you know, six packs, and they take off their shirt because they're doing construction in the street, or um, whether they are one of those men that clean the windows, you know, you know, those hierarchy building, and they, they clean the windows, you know, and they always take their shirt off on a good summer day, you know, sunny day, I mean, you know. So you see some women looking at them, you know, you know so women do it as well to men that's my own point now you understand but either way whether you're men or you women cat calling is wrong it's embarrassing i don't i don't think you you heard me very well now look at the dictionary the dictionary never ever say anything good about cat calling it, everyone everyone agrees that it's wrong to cat call men or women. You understand? There's no part of the dictionary that actually say, oh, cat calling is a form of a respective way to draw attention of a stranger in public places. No, no dictionary will ever call cat calling like that. Cat calling is, <laughs> is, 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 is very harsh. You understand? A shrill, shrill call. Whistle expressing decision or disapproval that's what the dictionary will be telling you that is the act of shouting harassing and often sexual suggestive suggestive like 17 18 19 baby that's ready there are some men that will sing that to a woman passing by you understand shout out to my man um What's his name? DJ Day of Authentic. He even sang about it. 17, 18, 19, or 17, 18, 19, something like that. You know, it's a form of threatening or uh, the, the, the receive comments at some public, you know, public, I mean, publicly. How to use cat calling in a sentence? The act of shouting, harassing, and often sexual suggesting, threatening, the receive comments at someone publicly you understand let me look at who who i can see that we define cat calling as something that is nice that's something that um they will encourage us to be doing you understand okay mm. here are the possible meanings and trans translations of the word cat calling it's cat calling because i guess if I suggest that I want to have a conversation, I'm demanding a response. Well, every request is a request. All she had to say here was, nah, that would be fine. Mm -hmm. Who is this person? Okay, thank you very much for your comment. KC, wow, sharp guy, sharp guy. Well, um, okay, I'm shocked. Anyway, the act of saying a rude sexual remark to a girl passing by as a way to get her attention in some way, typically done to boost about to other male peers. That's what I'm saying. When you can't call a girl, you understand? 
it's always done in the group it, when you're in your bad gang you must be with somebody because you want to show off is the ego thing like oh uh, I can be the rudest out of this group you understand you know, it's, it's, it's bad it's terrible it's ridiculous you understand teach your young men out there how to talk to ladies you understand you you, you, you to think about it if you want something nice say you you see a lady and you want her uh, to to date you you understand you don't use uh, disrespective words on her or to her you understand because that ain't gonna work the best thing that will work is for you to speak her nicely how you doing man good afternoon good evening how are you today you look very very beautiful i love your dress i love your hair you know say nice thing not uh 17 18 19 baby like you get a you understand that's not nice of course you're not going to get attention if they do that you understand or you see a lady boy baby baby hmm. who does that who talks like that that's not nice you can't get a woman's attention by saying oh you understand you can't say that to a lady and expect you know expect her to be happy and thank you and give you money for that and give you a number you understand that ain't gonna happen cat calling is disrespectful is derogative is harassment is uh, very very rude extremely, extremely rude and you can never get good response from the um, from the party whoever that you are, you are cat calling you understand do not use it again it's not a nice way to show show off to 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 your peers to your friends you understand if you want to show off if you want a lady let them know that you're a nice person let them know that you're the best person or best guy to actually use beautiful words to qualify a beautiful lady you understand here yeah, on a beautiful day so don't cut call by harassing you understand it's not going to do it's, it's not going to do anything for you there's nothing good that will come out of harassing a lady whistling <laughs> All of power, you know when they say all of power, they mean something. They're looking at something. All of power, whoa, I'm a old You understand? Uh, I would like to give you one. Whoa, who does that? You understand? Think, think before you say. Cat calling is very, very wrong. And Cynthia, she's actually condemning it today. Okay. Um, I hope you have a good time on this show today on um, your one and only Source and Spice by Cynthia Umo. Go and follow her on Facebook. She's Cynthia Umo. Okay. If you want to learn more about cat calling. Okay. It's very wrong. And she tried her best with a guest. Very, very lovely program. I enjoyed it. I was giggling at the open my 32 to everybody today. Yes, so and my 32 is not complete. Uh, I probably have 31 or 37. Trust me, minus one or two or minus half. You get me? But I've enjoyed myself. I hope you've enjoyed yourself today as well on Source of Spice on AYO Radio. God bless you all. And uh, don't forget... Um, in less than 10 minutes, another program is coming up as well. Please don't touch the dial. Keep it locked on your charismatic station, radio, online. Yes, to Shaprapra. Thank you very much. God bless you. Don't touch the dial. Keep it locked. And don't forget that you can actually go on tuning. Yeah, go on tuning and search for AYO Radio. Yeah, weather station with the charisma okay or you can also click on our web player where you can listen to us as well thank you
ricotta, ricotta mamma Africa, ricotta is with me that yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up everybody? This is your boy Bad and we are brought here. Nice one, Baba. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, yes, I'm so excited. It's the new year. Yes, sir. Happy New Year. It's your boy, C Max. to call her hold tight yes thanks for logging on what do you think about cat calling yeah have you ever been cat called by a group of boys or a group of men before yes have you yes that's what we're talking about today unfortunately um the program is ending now because another program is starting now okay thank you so much to everyone for logging on today from me dj ali journalist i'll say have a good day i'll be back at one o'clock in less than seven minutes ciao 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 ah my wonderful people this is your eccentric program on your number one radio Government and the people. It is an informative, educative, and entertaining program where we talk about the people to criticize themselves exactly the way they do criticize the government. The program is of